second day of spring, right? And it's starting to snow. Look at the fog and the clouds moving in. The other day I was cleaning my desk and I found something kind of cool. When I was uh, in Upton, I used to send out a newsletter once a month and I'd write poetry. And there was an older lady in Indiana who decided, well, she thought my poetry was good. I don't know why. She put it in a book called Insights. And I told my folks, hey, this lady has made a, a book of poetry for me. And she sent me about 10 copies and she used them to send to her friends. Well, I thought, I thought it'd be cool to send a copy to my mom and dad, but I thought I'd play a joke on them. And the book was of Christian poetry. And my mom and dad, you know, my dad was a minister. and My mom's a very kind of proper person and gets embarrassed really easily. Well, I thought I would take one page out and substitute it with another page and put kind of a fake poem in there that I really didn't write. And uh, we'll check this out. So my parents open their mail and they get this book. It's called Insights. And it's basically just got a bunch of Christian poetry. But I took one page out and put a fake poem in there just to kind of freak them out. And I thought, well, as soon as they got it, they'd call me. Well, they happened to have gotten it when they were traveling down the road. And Dad had a doctor's appointment. And they, this was before cell phones. So they couldn't contact me until late that evening. And they got the mail in the morning, and my dad said, Pat, read me those, those poems in that book. So Mom started reading some of the poems, and she got to the, the fake page I put in. And this is the poem she read. <clears throat> Breaking the Wind. I've never been one with a very big heart, but I do love the scent of my own captured fart. In a long car drive on a hot summer day, one little fart goes a long, long way. When I'm breaking wind in bed, under the cover, I romantically pull the sheets over the head of my lover. A phone booth, an elevator, even a tent, I can't get enough of my own smudgy scent. At parties, I slip one past a huge crowd with ease. Then I crumple my face, screaming, Who cut the cheese? It's fun to share gas with neighbors and friends, and as long as there's bean dip, the fun never ends. Outside the grocery store with a group of old hags, I fart like a horse as I carry their bags. I fart in the post office getting the mail. You wouldn't believe the foul scent from my tail. I fart in the church as I sit in my pew, making saints hold their breath till they turn a dark blue. Now, dare someone tell me I don't have any class. I'll tell them I do, but I've also got gas. Needless to say, my mother was crying before she got to the end of the poem. And not crying with laughter, mind you. She was humiliated. And I got a call that night from my father going, Who did you send this book to? How many people got this book? I can't believe you'd put that poem in there. I can't believe you'd do that, Troy Height. And uh, the funny thing was, I got to tell him, uh, Dad, I didn't. <laughs> See, that was just your guys' copy. It was a joke, but you weren't supposed to uh, stew and fret about it all day. I thought maybe you'd get it in the mail and glance it over and call me. I'd tell you it was a joke and you wouldn't have an entire day to worry about how many of your friends received a copy of this book with the famous fart poem in it. So, that's my little story and uh, hope you got something out of it. If you didn't, then um, if only this video was scratch and sniff, it would be so much richer.